I personally believe that universities can go one step ahead of times. They can go beyond well-established knowledge. They can question time-honored ideas. And they can engage faculty members and students in problem-solving and innovation. And most important, they can anticipate future challenges. You know, university can achieve so much and so faster if they start releasing the innovative capacity of its faculty members and students. You know, it's very important for us to understand that we cannot build Pakistan where faculty members and students are not part of the solution. We cannot build Pakistan where universities measure their performance by looking at the number of graduates produced, not looking at the number of change makers produced. We cannot build Pakistan where universities are busy in knowledge repetition and skill repetition. This trust has destroyed many youth lives in a bad economy. You know, we must understand that, that we cannot help young people to become change makers if we are going to box them with rules, regulation, and a very lengthy timeline for success. You know, I want to say to students also, please remember this. Today you are living in a very flat world. It does not matter where you live today. You can easily plug into this world from any part of Pakistan. You can showcase your talents, your ideas, any anytime, from anywhere in the world. So remember, you don't need to travel to any part of the world to showcase your talents. Previously, you were out of the game. Now you have entered the game. And you have a choice every day to decide which game you want to play. You want to change the game, or you want to repeat the game. And those who change the game, they deserve more. And they get more. And those who repeat the game and you know imitate things, they get less progress. It's very thank you to all the teachers that participated and supported this initiative. Without their support, it would not be possible. I want to tell them to please continue with their support to the students. Always remember, never run out of patience when you're working with students. It takes some time for crescent moon to become full. And always remember that, you know, students may forget what you teach them, but they will never forget how you treat them. And what I've seen in my 21 years, change the sense of merit because I see that even the best universities not only in Pakistan in the world when they measure young people they look at, at academics but a few intelligences you know like linguistic like mathematical I have seen in my life that young people with very modest linguistic mathematical intelligence out outperform and outshine many other students who perform very well so it's not about intelligence it's more about trust it's more about your ability to restore trust with the young people. So I hope that you will continue with the same momentum, with the same way. In the end, I would like to express my heartfelt thanks to all the students that have participated in the competition. I am so happy and delighted to hear your stories, how you have turned your frustrations into fascination. You see, when you are frustrated, you are least productive. And you are fascinated, you are most productive. I am happy that you were able to conquer your limiting beliefs about and those I hope that you will change the sense of merit because I see that even the best universities, not only in Pakistan in the world, when they measure young people, they look at, at academics, but a few intelligences, you know, like linguistic, like mathematical. I have seen in my life that young people with very modest linguistic, mathematical intelligence out outperform and outshine many other students who perform very well. So it's not about intelligence, it's more about trust. It's more about your ability to restore trust with the young people. So I hope that you will continue with the same momentum in the same way. In the end, I would like to express my heartfelt thanks to all the students that have participated in the competition. I'm so happy and delighted to hear your stories, how you have turned your frustrations into fascination. You see, when you are frustrated, you are least productive and you are fascinated, you are most productive. I'm happy that you were able to conquer your limiting beliefs about yourself, 